want to start with another Alec uh, problem, I, or another problem I have with Alec is the elimination of the state income tax here. I've heard from many pundits and elected officials about how great this is of uh, drawing people in for uh, bringing jobs here and things, and it just plain isn't true. I'm going to quote somebody here, uh, a guy named Wes Stuckey, who is the uh, CEO of the Art and War Development Authority in Oklahoma. He's a widely respected leader in the economic development field. And this is a quote of his. For 24 years, I've been conducting interviews with executives of companies that we tried to recruit to Ardenmore. They ended up located elsewhere. Not once in all those years did a company that rejected Ardenmore base its decision on taxes. And uh, in 2001, Phillips Petroleum, uh, at that time in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, merged with uh, Houston-based Conoco. The new company's headquarters was located in Houston. Now there, uh, Jim Mulva was there, uh, president at the time of Phillips, and he even said that uh, the state income tax had absolutely no impact in terms of the decision of merging the company and where the corporate headquarters is located. Here's some things that they do care about. According to some studies, a full range of businesses operating and production costs influence where companies decide to base their headquarters and create jobs. Um, let's see, consistently, taxes are ranked as among the least significant considerations. <coughs> Things like uh, old proximity to markets, a skilled workforce, cultural amenities like the arts that we're not funding here, thanks to our governor, um, a quality workforce. Now, I'd like to bring up a pipeline too. Uh, if we're gonna cut these uh, income taxes down, but we're gonna get money to do anything. There's a uh, Trans-Canada pipeline coming through here, and no other state has offered tax breaks or any subsidies to this company for a pipeline coming through. This is going to go right through an aquifer, and I would like anybody here right now, I'd like for all of you to pledge in public right now that when complaints start coming in when this aquifer leaks, that you will go to these places and visit them and drink their tap water six ounces. Is anybody willing to do that? Anybody willing to tax them and change this? Uh, I don't know how much influence you have with KCC, but I went to a West Star hearing about rates. And uh, I, I just got to say that I really don't think that 69% of the institutional share is held by, part of these are held by four major uh, stockholders who have received bailout money. They want to guarantee them a 10% return. I just don't think that's fair. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.